Please welcome Nina Wadia. <laughs> Oh, honestly, oh, such heart. a joy oh, to have you. you in the studio. And I know, look, I, I've watched Count Abdullah, as you know, and yes. we'll get to that in just a second. But as you have just heard, we, we announced um, uh, the death of Glenda Jackson. You've worked with her, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we did a reading um, at Christmas for one of the charity things that we do. Oh, and wow. I was in awe. I oh, mean, just Christmas? Just, yeah, Christmas and, uh, about two Christmases right. ago. An incredible, incredible woman. And, and what an inspiring actress. You know, one of those people yeah. you go... Uh, she, all, all round, I mean, for her to go into politics the way she did, oh. I think any actor going into politics is so dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We'd be useless, you Absolutely. and me. But um, she was amazing. What, what, uh, I'm, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'll be yeah. honest, I'm sad. Yeah. I think it's hit us all mm. yeah. uh, quite yeah. hard, I think. Yeah. Um, let, let's talk about your programme that's on ITV, right. Count Abdullah. Now, as we've sort of, you know, you read out the synopsis, it's like, <laughs> well, it's the Muslim doctor that becomes a vampire, yeah. um, the silver was burning his hand and all that yes. stuff. It sounds like a weird concept but it's so funny mm -hmm. it's ridiculously funny it is it is honestly when i was first told about this it was a couple of years ago because they've been trying to get it um mm -hmm. done with other tv stu studios and it was itvx that said yes we're going to do something very different and alternative and thank goodness because yeah. you need that you need stories told that are so out there and crazy and fun i mean you'd have never thought would you when i was pitched it was like yeah it's the first ever Muslim vampire show, and I went, <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> but it just made me laugh, the script. I mean, Camille, Char fantastic writer, and I love that it's groundbreaking. I, lo I love being in anything that's groundbreaking. Yeah. Because... Well, you're used to that, aren't you? Yeah. Goodness gracious <laughs> me, yeah. it was groundbreaking. We were very lucky. I mean, I've been watching it recently again, goodness gracious me, with my kids, you know, oh. they're teenagers now, and, and I just look at it and go, gosh, we were really political. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even realise at the time, I was just, really, we were just being us, but you watch it back and you go, Oh, we were saying some quite outrageous things, <laughs> yeah. and, you know. But Nadia, I, don't, I truly do not think that you deserve that you get the credit that you deserve. That's you are kind. a stellar actress who has had a phenomenal career, um, and, and and what's lovely about this particular piece is, like you said, that it's been that many years since you've worked with a predominantly brown cast. Yes, yeah. And what was that like? That is special. You know, that is really special because you, you're telling stories like... I, we're tell, these boys are from Hounslow and you will love the guys in this. They are funny. They are just fun. I mean, we were in Stitches even trying to film it. Um, so it's nice to have stories from where I grew up a bit as well, yeah, you know, mm. to, to actually be able to have fun with it and then go into fantasy land. Not yes. that I'm saying everyone from Hounslow is a vampire. No. I'm just saying that, <laughs> you know, you get... You get well. <laughs> but a lot of people think that your heritage is Indian because you've you've been involved in so yes. many of those roles. Yeah. But you're actually Persian. I'm you're actually Arabian. Persian. Yeah. And I've yeah. never played a Persian person. Have you not ever? No. no. I did audition for a Persian I person. Did once. I did audition for a Persian part, and I was told by the Norwegian director I didn't look Persian enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him he looked Swedish. <laughs> this is not fair, but yeah, wow. it's because I was born and brought up in India, I ended up playing a lot of Indian roles and a lot of Pakistani roles. I've never even been to Pakistan. So I'm, it's, but as an actor, you kind of embrace that and go, okay, fine. But it's when you're told you're not actually what you are, you're like, the casting has gone way <laughs> too far. Wow. That's, That's incredible. Yeah. But have you enjoyed, I mean, when, um, I completely agree with Kelly, as, as you know, about the longevity of your career and just how, how amazing it has been. I mean, are you enjoying it as much now as during the days of doing Goodness Gracious? Entirely. Me? Entirely. I've been genuinely, I'm, I'm blessed. And that I, firstly, I never say no to a role that I know I can make something off, whether it's one line or whether it's, you know, an, a whole kind of ten scenes. It doesn't matter to me. The size of part does not matter. It's what you can... <laughs> Little, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we're doing that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on Loose Women. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, <laughs> ask me something else. <laughs> and also, you've been to Hollywood and worked with some amazing American actors. Yes, I've you worked been with Mel Will Smith. Yeah, Will yeah. Smith. Yeah, we did Aladdin, which was really cool. And I was more cool. excited about Guy Ritchie directing it. I was like, and they said, oh, he never turns up on set. And I was like, oh, come on, turn up on set. And I have a slight crush on him. And so he did, and then I couldn't speak. <laughs> 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 but you're saying that from these standards. I mean, you have a huge deal. Oh, Come on. It was fun. I loved my time on EastEnders. I absolutely loved it. Did I, you go I'm back? still. Oh, God, in a heartbeat. I mean, did it you? was. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those shows that when I was in it, I, I absolutely did enjoy it. It's towards the end, I kind of. 
I think I'm one of those actors that needs to be doing different things. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm it not... It happens in soaps sometimes. It does happen yeah. in soaps. Yeah. You, know, you, you know, I mean, you both... I, like, there's, there's a time where you just go, OK, I need to do something else. I'm getting a bit bored. The storylines are going over the same, over the same kind thing. of ground. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I just want to freshen up, and I thought maybe I'd go back into comedy. But, but Zainab Masood ruined my career for a year because no costume director touched me. Because yeah. my agent would, yeah, yeah. yeah, they put yeah. my yeah. name forward and they go, no, it's just Zainab. And I'm like, I'm not actually Zainab. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I can do other things. And the funny so. thing about soaps is you can leave and say, well, I'm going to do a film with, you know, with Guy Ritchie yeah. and Will Smith and Julia Roberts. Yeah. And they go, but you can always go back. Yeah. Like, yeah, but I'm also doing other things. <laughs> and, and which is part of the reason, of course, of you doing Count Abdullah, which is something yeah. completely outside of the box. Definitely. And I think it's the first first two or three episodes I think I've seen. And honestly, it's belly laughingly funny. Good, yeah. I'm so glad. I mean, there are some great jokes. There's the first thing when Jamie Winston comes on as Kathy and she says to Ori Nick, who's a wonderful actor, by the way, playing, you know, the lead, and, and she comes on, she goes, oh, I like halal blood, it's sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is the yeah. show I'm going to watch. Too. Exactly, yeah. and, it's, and it's brilliant. I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much. I love watching yeah. it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nina Wadley. <laughs>